There's something special about Costa Brava. It's one of the most beautiful, untouched stretches of coastline in all of Europe, complete with hidden coves, secret beaches, and quaint medieval villages. There are just so many unique things to do in Costa Brava that set it apart from other destinations, offering visitors a chance to immerse themselves in local culture, get a real taste of Catalan food, understand the unique art scene, explore medieval towns and villages, and of course to spend lazy days on deserted beaches exploring the stunning coastline. Here's my pick of the top 15 things to do in Costa Brava. Did you know Costa Brava is home to some of the prettiest fairy tale like medieval villages in all of Europe? You'll find gorgeous cobblestone pathways, large arches, high stone walls, flower baskets, houses covered in dripping ivy, and some cute boutique stores and gelaterias. Some of my favorite medieval towns in Catalonia include Besalú, Pratalada, Pubul, and Madremanye. The Costa Brava Coastal Path is a spectacular 200 km long walkway that hugs the coastline and allows casual walkers and keen hikers to follow the Mediterranean Sea all the way from the French border down to the town of Blonays. It's pretty much my favourite thing to do in the area and no trip to Costa Brava would be complete without spending an afternoon on the coastal path. If you're looking to get active on your trip, signing up for an electric bike tour with Burricleta is a fun morning out. It was one of my favourite activities of our trip and included cycling around the countryside of Catalonia, stopping off at medieval villages and ending up in Muma for a cider tasting session and a delicious lunch. You can't come to Spain without visiting a winery. While there are lots of larger well-known wineries in the area, I recommend visiting one of the smaller boutique wineries. We visited Mas Oler and had a very friendly and enthusiastic guide. If you have a group of eight or more, they also do custom lunches, which include a delicious wine tasting of their three most popular wines. There are no shortage of incredible places to eat in Costa Brava. Be it indulging in a seafood tapas feast in Blanes or splashing out on lunch with a view in La Franc at the Michelin star Casamar restaurant. I adored our afternoon at Casamar, which was a perfect end to our coastal path hike. The food was to die for, so many unique combinations and flavors, and they paired it with the most delicious wine. The best way to taste as many Catalan delights as possible and to get better acquainted with what and how the Spanish eat is to sign up to do a food tour on one of your first days in Costa Brava. We did a food tour with Girona Food Tours and it meant we had a good understanding of where to buy food, how much things should cost, where to buy local and what typical foods we should be tasting for breakfast, lunch and dinner. From snorkeling along the coastline and learning about underwater life to jumping off the boat in hidden coves, a snorkeling trip is guaranteed to give you a unique view of Costa Brava's most impressive villas and the famous coastal path. Have you ever heard of Lestrambotism? This artistic movement was founded here in Catalonia in 1974 and the father of the movement, Quim Heru, the man to thank for the two largest oil paintings in the world on show in the gallery, is the man tasked with spreading the movement worldwide. We were lucky enough to meet the artist for an hour and get a better understanding of his work. With a name like The Brave Coast, it's no surprise that Costa Brava is home to some stunning stretches of sand. Whatever your preference, busy beach bars, private resort beaches, swimming in rock pools to beaches longer than the eye can see, there's something for everyone in Costa Brava. Jordi Rocca, the youngest of the three Rocca brothers, all three of whom have been awarded Michelin stars, is the owner of the award-winning Rocambolesque, the most famous ice cream shop in Catalonia and a firm favourite for the residents of Girona. 
I liked their take on the ice cream sandwich the best. A warm, freshly baked bun stuffed with three flavour ice cream and lots of various berry toppings. Did you know the man who invented the daiquiri came from Lorette de Mar in Costa Brava? He later left for Cuba to make his fortune and ended up opening the now famous bar called El Floridita in the Cuban capital of Havana. You can enjoy a unique daiquiri making workshop in the gorgeous Santa Clotilde Gardens with spectacular views of the coastline and small hidden beaches. From the unusual mermaid statues, elaborate steps and pathways to the luxurious cliffside villa, this is definitely one of the top places to visit in Costa Brava. While the most famous Dali Museum can be found in Figueres, you can visit the summer house of Salvador Dali, the castle he bought for the love of his life, Gala, in the tiny town of Pubal. Here you can see how they lived, admire the incredible works of art on the ceiling and get a small insight into the great mind of Salvador Dali. The colourful architecture of the Costa Brava is most obvious in Girona as you cross the famous Eiffel Bridge and look to your left or right down the river. The overhanging houses here have now become part of the city landscape. Who doesn't love fields of wild sunflowers, quaint little villages that only pedestrians and bicycles can traverse, country laneways, fields full of hay bales and picking wild berries by the side of the road. If, like me, you love all of the above, then you'll love exploring the Costa Brava countryside. For a nice spoonful of culture while exploring Costa Brava, why not sign up for a pottery tour and workshop at the Terracotta Museum in Bisbal. After completing a full tour and learning about the history of pottery in the area, you can either try your hand at making some pottery or paint your own ceramic cup and watch on as they cook it at 1000 degree heat and it comes out looking nothing like the piece of art you worked so hard on. Thank you.